I left the mechanical October 21st, and that's whenever I actually transferred into the electrical department. It was a great feeling because I'm actually doing something that I've been wanting to do and wanting to pursue since I was a kid. Basically a dream job where I'm at. I went through uh, the Goodwill Youth Program back when I was 16, when I was on probation. If I didn't pass, then I was going to go do some time. You know, there was times in my life when I was homeless and uh, you know, I couldn't afford a lot of things, especially being at school. So the one thing that uh, Goodwill did was helping me get to and from school, helping me out with food, helping me out with money. Honestly, if it wasn't for them, I would have stayed where I was at, you know. And so it, it gave me the tools to help me pursue what I wanted to do. But it was really up to me to actually take the step to do it. Goodwill came to me and asked me to represent them to go to Washington, D.C. and talk to legislators for them to get an understanding on where I come from and how programs like the Youth Service Program, on how funding it is very important for people that come in from places that I come from. It boosted my ego a lot, you know, I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was a great feeling, especially, you know, the whole picture with John McCain and pictures with senators and et cetera, et cetera. It was, it was a great deal for me. You know, where I'm at now, from just starting here not too long ago to another five years, it's, it's a very, very great opportunity and I, I'm thankful for it every day. Albert is very energetic. He's always wanting to know what, what to do next, what to do next. I think he's gonna do quite well. He brings up questions to us that makes us think, not only is it helping him, but it helps us a lot too. If it wasn't for those people honestly donating, I wouldn't be in the position I was in now. Never lose hope. You've been through what you've been through already, and the only thing that can go is up. If I came from, you know, a um, drug-infested house, a broken family, no father, no mother, and I made it to the position I'm at, and I'm just beginning, what's stopping you? If you have the ability to help someone that wants to help themselves, it's, it's in us to do so. Not a lot of people can afford it, but those of us that can really should. It can change their lives, and I've seen it through Albert.